like the video right now if you don't want this ugly, dirty, bummy crackhead off the corner to be with your sister. Like the video right now. I would not risk you. Hey yo, what's good, YouTube here? It's your boy, Crack Man Steven. Now look, 2K has made a whoopsie, bro. They have messed up. They accidentally brung back the most overpowered build in the game. This is the most overpowered point guard build in the game. Whether you like it or not, this build will absolutely destroy every build in the game. When it hits 99.9, .9, this is the best build in the game. There is no build that can beat this one. Now, y'all probably like, oh, he's talking about the shooting partially finishing pot chart or the finishing partially shooting pot chart or the, or the other one. No, I am talking about the defensive slash playmaking pod chart the two-way slash and playmaking pod chart this build has literally just became the most overpowered build on nba 2k21 this is for next gen too so if you're watching this build this build video on next gen this is the most overpowered build in the game this is the most overpowered build in the game nothing will beat this build i'm telling y'all no guard build can outscore. Well, it can outscore, but like, you know, this is the most overpowered build. Again. Now, look, everyone's not making this build this year because they're afraid of shooting this year. The way I set up the badges this, this, for this build, bro, y'all gonna be able to shoot. Y'all gonna be able to spark in the park. If y'all, if y'all watch my video, on how to, how to green, how to fix your green light jump shot, bro, and y'all make this build. You're going to be absolutely going crazy. So you have eight finishing and 10 shooting already, plus 20 playmaking badges on this build. 20 playmaking badges. Then you have 19, 19 defensive slash rebounding badges. The build is broken. You, you will have 99 speed, 99 acceleration. At 99.9, you have you basically have everything you need to straight dominate on this build. And if someone grinds to legend and then makes this build, this is the most overpowered build in the game. I'm telling y'all, months is gonna go by when this game releases on next gen. This is gonna be the most overpowered build in the game. I'm telling y'all, everyone is gonna start making this build. If y'all don't believe me, y'all can click off this video right now. I'm telling y'all. Click off this video right now. Now, for body shape, y'all can go with build, burly, defined, compact, anything y'all want to. But for me, I always go build. It's just a fact. Build is my only body shape I ever go with on this game. I don't know why. It just makes the most sense. Now, look, height I want to go with is six foot five. Why I want to go six foot five? Because y'all want the extra driving dunk on this build. Now, do not worry too much about the ball handle because today, if you if you are watching today, they dropped. The pro driven moves to 80 ball handle. That means you can speed boost, have pro driven moves, shoot greens, play go to defense, and still get contact dunks. Still get contact dunks with a maximum wingspan, and you're super fast. 64 three ball. Do not sleep on that, bro. Don't sleep on that. When you have, when you max out your build at 99, plus take off the jump shot meter, plus sh shooting boost. They're going to go absolutely crazy in this build. You're already super fast. You already have pro dribble moves. You can shoot greens and you have contact dunks. The build is broken. Do not sleep on gold badges. Everyone's sleeping on gold shooting badges and stuff. Gold badges are crazy. In 2K20, all you needed was gold, gold finishing badges to straight get contact dunks back to back to back. Now, Take over. Y'all can go with playmaking, but playmaking honestly sucks. If y'all want to just dot people all day in the corner and stuff, go with that. Y'all can go with lockdown takeover. But me, in my opinion, if y'all want to be absolutely dominant at 99.9, .9, go with the slash and takeover. It just makes the most sense. 
if y'all want to be straight dominant. Now, if y'all really think y'all going to be shooting, if y'all really want to be shooting only on this build, go with the shotgun and take over if y'all want to be hitting difficult shots in the mid-range area because you're not going to be hitting no fadeaway threes. I'm sorry. That's just the fact you're not going to be hitting no fade threes. Probably on takeover, but it's not really that. You know, I don't know why they compared this build to Stephen Curry. I have no idea why they compared this build to Stephen Curry, but Stephen Curry is the comparison on this build. John Wall and Baron Davis. I have no idea why this is a Stephen Curry comparison for this build, but if y'all want a, a bridge version of Stephen Curry, uh, knockoff brand Stephen Curry, here you go. This is a Stephen Curry type build. I don't know how in the world that's possible, but this is a Stephen Curry type build. Anyway, we're going to be testing this button right now. Now, if y'all pick the exact same finishing badges, finish shooting badges, playmaking badges and defensive badges as me y'all will go straight crazy in this build only two finishing badges y'all need honestly is contact finisher gold and so three finisher gold when i hit 99.9 y'all be able to get contact on so that means these two badges you will be slamming and destroying everybody not not you will be catching bodies back to back bro everybody everyone now if y'all don't want to run if y'all don't want to run a uh, consistent finisher, I'll go throw on fancy footwork or relentless finisher, whatever y'all want to. But for me, I just throw it on relentless finisher. Y'all can put it on consistent finisher if y'all need that badge. But y'all don't technically need it. Y'all can put it on whatever y'all want. Now, for shooting badges, all y'all need is Hot Zone Hunter and Ranger Stinner. Inflexible release. If y'all don't know how to time y'all jump shot, flexible release plus no meter on plus jump shot boost. You're gonna be absolutely good. Now, if y'all can time y'all jump shots and it's super easy, just put on Green Machine Hall, Green Machine Gold. You still be able to be crazy on this build. I'm not gonna lie, you still be able to go crazy on this build. If y'all can't time y'all jump shots, throw on flexible release. Even if y'all can time y'all jump shots and y'all just want to be safe about it, throw on flexible release. Because with a 64 three ball, well not 64, it's gonna be like 69, 69 three ball plus boost. Y'all be going crazy on this build, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all will be going crazy on this build. Literally. Or y'all if y'all can time this, if y'all can time y'all jump shots, just throw just throw your last badge on green machine. And then put your last one badge on either dead eye or flexible release or catch and shoot. Whatever y'all want to. That's up to y'all. But like literally, this is the most overpowered build in the game. This is a secret build now. Like no one makes this build. I'm telling y'all, no one gonna make this build so if you're watching this video bro i suggest you make this build and ground into 99 if you're on next gen there might be female characters so i don't know what to tell y'all but anyway for defensive and rebounding badges bro what y'all want to do is you want to max out y'all intimidator max out clamps and for the rest of the badges y'all can just go crazy and put it on whatever y'all want if y'all need rebound chaser for whatever reason if y'all trying to get boys over people put that badge on but i won't recommend that to nobody uh, y'all can do it however y'all want to. Y'all can set up y'all badges however y'all want to. Y'all don't have to copy exactly how I'm doing it. But this is how I play defense. Silver chasing artist. Silver pickpocket. Silver poke. Not not pickpocket. Silver interceptor. Silver pick dodger. Silver poke stick. Gold rim protector. This is the most overpowered build in the game. You have Hall of Fame defensive badges. You can ISO. You can dunk on people. You can shoot if you have a good jump shot and you have boost on. And you're no meter on. This is the best build in the game. Hands down. There's no other build better than this one. This build can literally stop every build in the game, even centers, if you set up your defensive badges correctly. I'm telling y'all, this build is the most broken build in the game. Now, if y'all chose Playmaking Takeover, which most of y'all probably did, put on Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame. This is the most suspect badge in the game, but if y'all put on Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame. I mean, if y'all put on Playmaker Takeover, go Hall of Fame, Ankle Breaker. But if it was me, I probably would just throw on Floor Journal because I don't trust Ankle Breaker. I don't get no ankles ever in this game. It just makes no sense. But look, uh, but yeah, that was the build. This is the most overpowered, broken build in the game. So yeah, make sure to drop a sub. We're on the road to 10K. Drop a sub right now. Do all of that for me. Add me on Xbox or PS4 if y'all want to, and I'm out. Peace.